हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर फर्स्ट वी विल इंट्रोड्यूस द प्रोजेक्ट देन इट्स ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड सक्सेसेस चैलेंजेस इन टाइगर कंजर्वेशन देन वी विल टॉक अबाउट नेशनल टाइगर कंजर्वेशन अथॉरिटी एंड एट लास्ट विल गिव यू अ प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर इज अ स्कीम स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट अंडर द ऑस्पाइस ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एनवायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज This initiative has significantly contributed to the conservation of the endangered tiger species, ensuring their survival and putting them on a secure track towards recovery, thus preventing their extinction. Project Tiger is a wildlife conservation initiative in India that was launched in 1973. The primary objective of Project Tiger is to ensure the survival and maintenance of the tiger population in their natural habitats by creating dedicated tiger reserves, starting with only nine reserves covering 9,115 square kilometer. The project marked a paradigm shift in wildlife conservation efforts. Let us now discuss the objectives and successes of Project Tiger. Objectives of the project: to secure the future of India's tigers for scientific, economic, cultural and aesthetic purposes, to pinpoint and address the reasons behind the loss of tiger habitats using suitable management strategies. to maintain areas of significant biological value as a national treasure for educational purposes and public enjoyment perpetually and to protect the interest of tribal communities and local residents in the vicinity of tiger reserves successes of project tiger india was facing a huge conservation challenge the tiger population was only 1200 in the 1970s but according to a recent census there has been a 33% increase in population in the last 8 years The National Tiger Conservation Authority deserves a special recognition for launching Project Tiger in 1973. The tiger population is now around 3000 which is still not healthy or stable but Project Tiger has helped. This speaks volumes about the government's and national parks efforts. While the rest of the world is looking for ways to increase the number of tigers, India has already begun to achieve milestones through Project Tiger. From hunting grounds to tiger reserves, India has demonstrated its ability to conserve wildlife in general. They have also updated the Forest and Wildlife Acts. Any form of illegal animal trading is banned. Human intervention is not permitted in any of the reserves or forest. For tigers to hunt, live and survive, a suitable habitat has been created. This project has been named the most successful project in the world. Let us now discuss the challenges to project tiger. The Wildlife Protection Amendment Act 2006 didn't prohibit the diversion of a tiger's forest for development projects. and allowed wildlife to be killed as a last resort if they threatened human lives the government planned to notify the forest rights act rules in 2009 and operationalize the act but in november 2007 the national tiger conservation authority passed an order that gave the chief wildlife wardens 13 days time to submit a proposal to delineate critical tiger habitats each with an area of 800 to 1000 square kilometer as a result The government ended up notifying 26 tiger reserves in 12 states section 38 clause 5 of WLPA and without complying with its provisions tiger reserves in Simlipal Odisha the critical tiger habitats lacked a buffer area it was only in 2012 that they were included following a directive from the supreme court which gave the national tiger conservation authority a 3 month ultimatum the tiger task force found the approach of using guns guards and fences wasn't protecting tigers and that the increasing conflict between the forest or wildlife bureaucracy and those who coexist with the tigers was a recipe for disaster it was difficult to take hunting lands off the market many people objected to it and voiced their displeasure poaching was another major issue large scale development projects and invasive species are some other challenges let us now know about national tiger conservation authority The National Tiger Conservation Authority is a statutory body under the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. It was established under the enabling provisions of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972 to strengthen tiger conservation in accordance with the powers and functions delegated to it by the act. The NTCA was established in 2005 in response to the Tiger Task Force's recommendations. It is the apex body that administers Project Tiger. The NTCA has been carrying out its mandate under the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. by maintaining oversight through advisories or normative guidelines based on tiger status assessments ongoing conservation initiatives and recommendations of specifically constituted committees the ndca also conducts a country level assessment of the status of tigers co-predators prey and habitat once every 4 years 
using the Tiger Task Force approved methodology. Now is the time for the practice question. For prelims, the question is consider the following statements. 1. The definition of critical wildlife habitat is incorporated in the Forest Rights Act 2006. 2. For the first time in India, Pegas have been given habitat rights. 3. Union Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change officially decides and declares habitat rights for primitive and vulnerable tribal groups in any part of India. Which of the statements given above are correct? 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 3 only or 1, 2 and 3. For mains, the question is, without a focus on habitat conservation, success of Project Tiger may lead to human-animal conflict. Discuss. Send the answer to these questions in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.